Whoa, yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it like me Whoa, please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah Oh, look at me, I'm golden. I'm literally golden. What a time to be making a video. How are we doing, guys? Today is a special day. Well, it's not really, but it's gonna be a special day. On the 29th of this month, on the 29th of July, 2020, my youngest daughter of two, Tristan, is turning one. I'm over here in New Zealand, she is in Alice Springs still with her mum and her sister and all the other members of that side of the family and um, well I guess the best thing I can do apart from being there is at least send something you know as a gift right so that's why I'm here today is Monday it's the 20th and so we've got nine days hopefully for it to get there and I just thought I'd create this video to document this moment in time that's why I create these these personal videos I I took my personal life completely off of YouTube for a, a couple of years there because I just got really weird about it but at the end of the day what if I died tomorrow why am I scared about putting this shit out there I'm, I'm, I'm not scared anymore Tristan you are absolutely adored and loved you're a little angel <laughs> the videos that your mother sends me and photos are incredible and I hope you enjoy your birthday present for years to come and with that being said guys I'm, I'm, I'm parked outside the post office I've got their gifts here I'm gonna go inside I'm gonna get the materials I need to, to send them I'm gonna come back turn the camera back on and show you guys what I got um, today is a special day like I said and my mouth is dry as hell okay I'm gonna go inside, I'll see you in a minute. All right guys, um, yeah, <clears throat> to be fair, that was a real down buzz moment. I, I cannot say I was happy with the service provided just then. I went in there, <sighs> fucking bullshit. The post shop has been moved inside the library. I looked up the library closing time, it was six o'clock. The post shop closes at five. Why the fuck would you close it an hour early? And I went in there at 4.59. They said, we're gonna close in a minute. I said, yeah. So they pretty much rushed me out. Okay, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, oh, fuck man. I'm gonna be totally real with you guys. And I need to talk about it actually, I have to. I have to talk about this right now. It's not gonna be the title of this video, but if you do give a fuck about my life and about my my daughters and the things that mean the, the most to me, then you will be watching this. And my anxiety has been through the roof for the last month. Basically, ever since I started playing rugby, when I added that in to my life, my anxiety just skyrocketed. It was a last minute decision to start playing rugby. <clears throat> Didn't really have too much time to think about it. Anyway, I got into it. And things are going all right, but yeah, with everything I've got going on, my anxiety is through the roof. Like, so anyways, let's move on. I went in there, I got the box. I got the box. I just won't be able to send it until tomorrow. I'm just hoping that, oh my God, oh, yes. Fuck, man, I wouldn't, I, I don't think I'm even gonna need any packing. That's fantastic, right. This is the box, it cost me four bucks. I don't know what the postage is gonna be, but when I do know, will I tell you? No, nah, probably not. Um, okay, here we are. I may as well pack this stuff in here now. So, I've got two daughters, two absolutely beautiful girls, Tate and Tristan. They carry my, my last name, Tate and Tristan McDonald. Um, you know, that makes me super proud. Uh, makes me feel uh, that I have a, a real sense of responsibility to be a good father, to set a good um, example, be a good role model. 
and always encourage them to do whatever their heart desires. Now, uh, <clears throat> I got Tate a jewelry box for Christmas and I've basically said to myself for every birthday and Christmas especially well the ones that I'm not there I'm gonna send her a little something that she can or her mother or her can put away in that jewelry box and you know just add to it over the years and hopefully each and every one will each and every you know thing that I get her will will mean something and she'll be able to keep it because those are the things that those are the gifts that are the best in my opinion if not jewellery, then books, which she can also keep, and other things. You know, I, I haven't really thought about it. I don't know exactly what she's into, so that's that's the exciting thing. You know, she's so young, there's so much to look forward to. But Tristan, Tristan, our youngest daughter, is turning one in nine days, like I said. And, um, you know, <laughs> oh, shit. It's, God, the last three years were incredible I went through oh god on the on the on the uh, the scale of emotions you know negative and positive I I felt them all and here we are in 2020 post COVID-19 lockdown here in New Zealand and I love being here I love being in New Zealand I, I came back right at the right time I made the right decision Tate and Tristan are completely happy as Larry with their mother it's just they don't get to see me, which is unfortunate. Anyways, guys, I'm going to show you right now what I got them. So I got them, I got them a rugby ball, a Gilbert rugby ball. This is a rugby union ball. There's not a lot of rugby union played in the Northern Territory. Uh, there's a lot of rugby league and also Aussie rules, but not much rugby union. So I got them a Gilbert, a Gilbert rugby ball, but kid size, and it looks awesome. I actually quite like it. I wouldn't mind keeping it myself, but this is for both of them. And I'm going to write on here, Tristan and Tate, or Tate and Tristan, no, Tate and Tristan. So I'll do that first. Nick Minute. I don't know about you guys, but I always get nervous before, <laughs> before writing something on like a card or a gift. You know what I mean? If you've only got one take and you can't stuff it up, I actually get really nervous. My hands start shaking, but... I think we've done a decent job. I, I hope we have. <laughs> oh, I hope we have. Oh man, I love these girls. I really do. They're gonna grow up to be fantastic people. Fantastic people, I know it. They've got, they've got great people around them and yeah. Anyways, there we go. So that's going in first, Tate and Tristan. Hopefully they have, you know, some fun times playing with that. And uh, as you can see, it literally fits in perfectly. How good. Now, the most important part of the, the gift is uh, Tristan's birthday present, of course. And Tristan's birthday present is a music box that I bought from an Instagram page um, called Honor Box. H-O-N-N-E-B-O-X um, You know, I don't know, I really don't know anything about the, the brand or the company, but I saw them online and actually it wasn't Tristan's gift that I saw first, it was Tate's gift. So I got them one each. Uh, this one is for Tristan's birthday. This one is for, well, I don't want to leave her out. <laughs> I don't want to leave, yeah, I want them to have one each. And also, like I said, she can put this in her little jewellery box. So it's going to be really cute. Uh, so the first one that I saw was from the Disney movie Moana. And I didn't know what the tune was, but I thought instantly, I have to have that. I love the thought of a music box, it's really cute. And if it's going to be in the theme of Moana, being that that was Tate's favourite movie, when I was in Cairns, living with her, we used to sit there and watch it every single day. I know every single word to it. It's one of those ones. It was the only movie that she'd sit still for like longer than two minutes in front of, you know? So it really holds a special place in my heart. Um, I don't know if she knows how much it means to me, uh, 
you know, I don't know if she'll even remember loving that at age one and, and you know, through one and a half. But I certainly remember it and it's getting dark here. Um, you know, like I said, I've, I've missed out. I'm not going to be able to send them today, but I did want to show you guys these and yeah, so this one is, is Tate's. Um, this is what it looks like. It's just a standard pattern on, on the outside. Um, I did write on the bottom, which hopefully stays there. You know, I went over a couple of times to make sure that the wood was nice and stained. And yeah, I just really hope she loves it. Now, when you open it, it's like this. I didn't really know what to expect. I thought they, I didn't know what size they'd be, but I'm, I'm really pleased, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm stoked. I cannot wait to send these, man. And so, for any Moana fans out there, or for any fathers or mothers who have kids, young kids especially, who uh, fell in love with Moana and the cast, the rock, you know, he just makes it, doesn't he? You know, this big, big guy who, who, who has a soft side. side. Yeah, it wasn't just um, Moana, it was all the rest of the cast, even the um, crab, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's a legend, he's actually a New Zealand legend that guy, um, Jermaine Clement is it? Jermaine, Jermaine something, shit I can't even remember his name but yeah he's the voice of the crab, um, I probably spent a year, probably a good year there um, listening to the, the soundtrack of Moana over and over again. I put it on in the car when I was with her and everything, so... Yeah. Um... I'm gonna play it right now, okay? Let's go. <laughs> So that's it, that is, that's Tate's present and you know Tate is two and a half now and she is speaking <laughs> more and more which is amazing to see um, but it's, it's you know really really hard to miss out on. So I'm just going to tuck that away there for now. And then the final part of it is obviously Tristan's birthday present. And that's what I've written on the bottom. It's it's the same uh, pattern on the outside. And when you open it, it's, uh, it's this. So when I was surfing online, I found these. I knew I had to have the Moana one to give to Tate. And I had a you know, great idea to buy another one to, to give to Tristan for a birthday. So I've got that. It's the You Are My Sunshine um, nursery rhyme, uh, which is extremely sweet and cute, just like she is, you know what I mean? Uh, it's, and, and not only did I want to give her this, but I wanted to give her a necklace that I found online, and it had a sunflower, and it was inside a locket, and it had a message on that sunflower that said, uh, You Are My Sunshine. And so I wanted to give her the necklace to keep forever, and I wanted to give her this as like a, you know, matching gift for her first birthday. But the necklaces still haven't come, and I didn't even think these were going to get here, but they have, thankfully. <sighs> oh, there's a light now. That's good. Must be getting dark. All right, guys, this is it. I'm going to go. To, I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to go soon. This video has gone far too long. It got really emotional, but it is what it is. These are my two kids, man. And I'm spending time away from them. And you know what? I've I've already really got to I've already got to know the guys in my rugby team really well. And I've started to talk to a few of them about my situation and stuff like that and opened up a bit, which is something I never did for ages and it really just, you know, started killing me. I, I had no one to open up to, no one to talk to. So it's good to, you know, finally start talking to people, 
talking, you know, proudly that I've got daughters, not hating the situation that I'm in, which I did whilst I was in Alice because fuck, I've already done all my growing I can there. I have, I had to leave and hopefully I can provide a, an opportunity for those kids to leave if they, if they, you know, want to. But I'm always going to be there. I'm always going to, fuck man, I'd, I'd give them my last dollar. I'd, I'd, I'd die for them. You know what I mean? I would. And with that being said, here we go. I hope you can hear that. I really do. But if not, you're just going to have to trust me on the fact that it's sweet and cute and all she needs is a one year old, you know what I mean? She's going to get plenty of other stuff, plenty of other toys from all the other people that are going to be going to her little birthday party. You know, I think back to when Tate was one and we had her first birthday party and it was in Cairns and I'd wanted to get over there in time for that, for that birthday, and I had done. In fact, I'd arrived there on January the, the, the 30th, no, January the, the 22nd or something like that, um, and I ended up spending over two months there. Thought I was going to live there, but realised, you know, just like I did in Alice, that this is not the place, this is not the, the final destination, and and you know, when I do know where the final destination is or what my what my chosen path is, I want to put 110 or 150 percent into it. You know, try and be successful. But though that that was not the place, Cairns was not the place. So guys, I've had a cry, I've had a I've had a laugh. You know, I love my daughters; they're absolute angels. Their mother is doing a fantastic job. I'll always, forever be in her debt for doing this for raising them on her own, for now. And um, as soon as I can, I will be over there to see them. And I cannot wait. So, girls, I love you. Everyone else out there, thanks for watching. Thanks for investing your time into my life and my family. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.